What's going on YouTube? My name is Chris Beamer. This is the IPG Rentals Show. And as you can see in front of me, we've got the DJI Inspire 2, but we're gonna talk about something specific with it today. And that is one of the uh, modes inside of it called the tap fly mode. We're gonna dive into that. Let's check it out. So it seems like in our production world today, things are heading in the direction of one man band. One man band, this, that. It seems like people don't either want to pay for another operator, they don't have, you know, whatever it may be. Uh, it seems like that it's great to have two operators, but a lot of times I feel like you'll be one man banding it with, with one controller, one drone, and you got to make super awesome cinematic stuff with just you. And so that is kind of what DJI has done here with these create modes and today specifically we're going to talk about the tap fly mode and what that is is just say you wanted to really think about the composition of a shot that you were doing but yet you want to add some motion to it at the same time so instead of trying to stick left stick right and be in follow mode and stuff you could do something called tap fly what that is is your small map on the bottom will uh, show up you'll tap an area on the horizon and the bird will just fly. You'll be able to kind of uh, adjust those settings to, for your speed, and then you will have full independent control of this gimbal while your drone flies. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Uh, we have Eli out there in our field, um, and you can see on the top left, you can see the, the Zen Muse X5 RAW. So I went to the mode, and I tapped right there on the horizon. You see, boom, as soon as you say go, it's gonna start. Now on the right, you can see a slider right there and that is gonna be your speed. Now, you'll enter something called SGS mode, right? And when that is selected, all you have to do is worry about your speed on the right, and then your right stick becomes your solo camera control. You don't have to worry about anything else. As you can see, I just took the, uh, the speed up, and now I'm looking straight down, and I am thinking only about framing Eli right there. So, the drone's going at speed, and you can see at the bottom, it flashes every once in a while. It says ascending, descending. It kind of gives you, you know, an idea of exactly what the drone is doing. And so you can always kind of at the right side of your eye kind of look down there and just make sure that you're not heading into anything crazy. So you see I had Eli kind of framed there at the bottom. I let him go. And in one second you'll see I grabbed this other kind of big, big tree over here on the left side just to kind of show you again the motion. So I'm not even thinking about where this drone is going. I want to frame that tree. So we're going to kind of allow it take it down like this so as you can see super simple I'm not even thinking about it anymore it's just me and the camera and that is really it so that is the tap fly mode and again if you're one man banding that is the way to go to get really nice composition shots so at ipgrentals.com we want you to feel confident with the gear that we rent so we are constantly updating our repertoire of videos online with tips and tricks about the newest gear in the industry so like, comment, and subscribe, and remember, it's our gear, it's your vision, ipgrentals.com.